So we wanted to take this time to quickly answer questions of, that many of you have had. And so I would like to begin with Dr. Hindeberger. So in regards to cancer treatment, and Channing has your microphone there, what is mistletoe's benefits and its strengths? Well, mistletoe has been analyzed extensively, and uh, researchers found uh, like a, a cytotoxic substance called viscotoxin that directly kills cancer cells. They found lectins, which support the immune system. They found substances that uh, prevent new blood vessel formation in tumors. They found substances that help apoptosis, which is a difficult process in our body that um, destroys dysfunctional cells. And uh, last but not least, they found endorphin-like substances that make us feel better and that increase the appetite, reduce the pain, give us more energy. And uh, it's, really, it's really an awesome plant. It's a real gift from nature, and we should really use it. Thank you, thank you. Dr. Pollard, can you share with us the design of the IV mistletoe trial and who can participate? Absolutely. So we wanted to design a trial that not only would kill tumor cells, but would also help people feel better through the mechanisms that Dr. Hindenburger described. So we're going to invite for our first phase, phase one, all solid tumor patients with a stage four cancer who've had at least one line of therapy. We will invite them to receive infusions three times a week with a goal of helping them feel better and to shrink their cancer. That's great. So Dr. Winters, we know that mistletoe is used for cancer treatment versus injections like in my case, but since this trial is gonna be IV mistletoe, can you share with us from the experience that you've seen with your patients its benefits? Well, I think what we were all kind of talked about is the quality of life piece is really substantial. That of course it, it both offer the um, qualities that Dr. Hindenburger talked about here, but the, the main thing that we've seen is the, if you, uh, uh, excuse me, I'm stumbling here. The main thing I've seen is the, it, the effect is so much more acute and immediate with the IVs versus the sub-Q, especially when someone's really down, downhill. It's, it's immediate. You can see them change in, within a matter of days from the IVs and their quality of life and their pain and their um, essence and how they look is just remarkable. Thank you. So Dr. Diaz, <laughs> as you've heard tonight, Believe Big has raised $415,000 needed to fully fund phase one out of the 500,000. We're really excited. So we, you know, we got the great news in December. So where are we now? So, so we didn't just get it on any day in December. No. We got it on December 24th, wow. which was pretty... <laughs> and, that's, and that's amazing. That's really true. We had a whole committee from the FDA on the phone with us on the 24th. They were working hard, they wanted to get it out, and, and they granted us approval on the 24th. So that's pretty special for a lot of reasons. Um, but with the funding, and with a lot of hard work of the team that we have at Hopkins, um, we've been able to do what I think many thought was impossible, which was taking something that some would say would be, should be illegal to give, and gotten FDA approval, and now gotten IRB approval, and we're g preparing to go in the next few weeks. So it's pretty incredible. Um, yes, please. Yeah. Wow, that's exciting. <laughs> yes. Now, Hop Hopkins has been around for a long time. And um, it may appear conservative from the outside, and it is. Um, but it's always been fairly innovative in moving the needle forward in ways that were considered alternative or extreme historically. So I think this is in line with the history of Hopkins, and uh, we hope to break down some barriers with this. That's exciting. So just real briefly, if each of you could just share with us what excites you the most about this trial, just in a brief statement. This crowd. <laughs> <laughs> the support. Thank you.
I would second that. The most common phone call I get these days is for the mistletoe trial. <laughs> it probably daily, and I have a waiting list of patients, so I'm excited to get started. It's, uh, it's time. That's great. From someone who's been using this therapy as a naturopathic doctor since 2006, where everyone's like, mistle what? It's amazing that it's becoming almost a household name, mm -hmm. and it should be. Yeah, I'm really excited about bringing the science into this and doing this for real. Yeah. Uh, I think we're going to have a huge impact on, on patient care with this, and uh, in the next few months, we'll really see it. Thank you guys so much.